It is an absolutely spectacular fall evening here in late September, and the stage is set for an absolutely spectacular moment for this young and thrilling Orioles team, which will look to hang another banner. Three lefties in the two, three, and four spots. Devers, Yoshida having a very good rookie year, and Verdugo for a team that leads the majors in doubles. They're 17. And they will face 27-year-old Dean Kramer making his 32nd start of the year. That is, of course, a career high, along with a career high innings pitch as well. 167 and a third. And then a cutter out, three different pitches. And a ground out against the speedy Rafael as Jordan Westberg throws him out. On the 10th pitch, Devers draws a walk. And after a three-pitch ground out, Rafael Devers makes Kramer work. Yoshida with a high pop to left center field. Mateo's out, Hayes is in. And this is Austin's ball from deep left for out number two. On an 0-2, Kramer burns Verdugo. An elevated fastball and a scoreless first for Dean. Anthony Santander backing them up. One off of Corey Seager's American League lead. He has 41 doubles on the year. And Chris Sale, you can see. I mean, he's getting out there. This is going to be his 20th start against the Orioles. Really struggling. I mean, big time struggling. The ERA over 13 runs a game. And then he's into center field. That chases Sadon Raffaello, who hops into the first out. Longest outing of his career by far without a strikeout. And Rutschman will not strike out here. A soft ground ball to second, and Emmanuel Valdez makes the play. The ninth pitch of the sequence is demolished. Out to left field. That ball is gone. Put that wall as far back and as high as you want. Anthony's still going to clear it. The Orioles strike first in the possible clincher on a Santander smash. Come on, Tony. Let's get the party started the right way. How about a bomb out to left field? Gunnar Henderson's solo lead in home runs didn't last very long. As Ryan Mountcastle on the first pitch he sees in two weeks. Pops one in the left center. Say Don Raffaella is there, but the damage done in the first. Tony Taters turn run around, fella. How about this swing, folks? A bomb out the left field and the long ball working for the Orioles early tonight. Yeah, then it drops and then it picks back up. He pretty much leaves the glove there most of the time, which I want to target. I don't know how Jim felt about it, but yeah. wherever you want the ball, that's where I want to see the target as I get up to balance point and I focus and I begin to come down the slope. I want to see Goodbye. Well, he's playing <laughs> Pepper with James's glove tonight. A strikeout ends a one, two, three second for Dean Kramer. Kicks into center field. Easy for Raffaella. Right to the inside corner, and Westberg knew it. No descent from the batter's box as Sale throws a one, two, three second. Yeah, different swing that he had a couple of years, but the same result on that pitch. I don't remember him wearing glasses. They hit as high on the curveball as, you know, at 347. I mean, he's got tremendous general manner. They let him go. They don't like that. Down to third, Gunnar Henderson. Well, three balls, three outs in the third for Dean Kramer. McCann into center field. I'm not sure you should be thinking that was a little bit dark of a segment right well, there. Well, I do all I did Maybe was not for Ringo. Well, his brother was in the choir. Chor there we Choristers. Go. Chorus, I'm sorry. Right field, Mateo with a base hit. Jorge Mateo, who reached base a couple of times and had a sacrifice butt last night with another good at bat. Mateo's on the run, and let's see what happens here. This ball is in back. left field, and this ball is caught by Abreu. <laughs> And Mateo was able to get up from his headfirst plunge. Of course, Mateo, this is what they're going to check right here. He's out. Mateo, when he hit second base, he had to re-tag second base to get back. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute mean, now. He's standing wait all over the now. bag. So he was standing yeah. on the bag when the yeah. ball was caught. So yeah. wait a minute now. If they can challenge that, which he just makes a little circle. Well, he's not going to third. He's going the call back. The on the field is that the runner is out yeah. on appeal at second base. Baltimore is challenging. As they should. Yeah, because he didn't make a turn no. toward third base. He slid through yeah, the bag yeah, yeah. At, at, at second. After review, the call in the field is confirmed. The runner did not retouch properly. The runner is out. 
Baltimore will lose their challenge. No retouching. Yeah, well, no, not properly, whatever that means. It is certainly an exciting time in Birdland, no doubt about that. Boy, Dean Kramer <laughs> is just shoving that fastball in there right now. He's working both sides of the plate. It's 2-2. He struck him out swinging. Wow. What a wave. A new lease extension, at least 30 more years of Orioles baseball here at Camden Yards. 30 is one of the big round numbers tonight. 100 could be the other. The O's searching for their 100th win, and Adley Rutschman helps the cause. 3-2 pitch crowded sharply right at Trevor Story. 6-4-3, the Red Sox turn two. That's outside. Mountcastle sees nine pitches, and four of them missed the zone because it was not responding as well as they hoped to treatment. Down to first, Dahlbeck. A hit, a walk, but a double play and a ground out around them. Still one nothing. Story off the end of the bat. There's the Red Sox first base hit. Targets down and away. As is the pitch. That's seven for Dean. Owen too. We saw him do it the other day at Cleveland. But you don't need to. <laughs> wow, this is... Uh... That skips away from McCann. It'll be a wild pitch, and Story will get his base after all. Yeah, I take it back. That was the curveball. Ball out of his hand. He went away on the night. Little tapper to first. Dean covers in time. Oh, wow. By a fraction of a step, a scoreless fifth for Dean Kramer. Maybe by a toenail. Mountcastle with a night feed, and Dean Kramer, you're out. And I mean out by a toenail. Henderson swept yeah. away Chris Sale with his second strikeout. Well, that's what tough lefties do against any left-handed hitter. I mean. Westberg pops it up on the infield. And Trevor Story is there. You know, and you go back to the COVID season where James McCann goes the other way, out to right center field. Rafaela, terrific center fielder, just glides into the gap over the Rays. Wong on the ground at shortstop. Oh, oh and Jorge Mateo boots a routine grounder. Wong will hold it first after a wide turn. That is a real rarity. Only the 11th error of the year committed by Mateo. But Dean with great stuff. You just hope it, that error doesn't hurt him. Hicks in right field has the first out of the sixth. Devers yeah. right field. That's a base hit. Yank to change up. Wong turning second on his way to third. Connor Wong gives the Red Sox runners at the corners with his dash around second on another base hit for Rafael Devers. It was supposed to be yeah. lefty versus yeah. lefty, but it's not going to be Masataka Yoshida. It will be Adam Duvall. And Duvall <laughs> chases one way off the plate for strike three. Yeah, but 97, that gets the bat going. Three and two. A ground ball to second base. Jordan Westbrook is there. D.L. Hall slithers out of the straight jacket. Now time for Josh Winkowski making his 59th appearance of the year for the Red Sox. Boy, he's been good. 2.8 ERA. Bogarts went down and signed with San Diego. There's a strikeout of Hayes. Josh Winkowski with a high fastball. The Red Sox third strikeout. And he's 25. Rutschman with a ground ball to third. Rafael Devers playing near short. Josh Winkowski keeps the good pitching going. Right side pulled to Mountcastle after a bobble. Ryan got it there in time. Maybe. In the first baseman bobbles the ball a little bit. Caught the ball right in front of him. Went to pick it up in the heel. And there is. And how about the oh, strategy? Did get well yeah. done. D.L. Hall didn't run past the bag. And that's what you're taught. Break it down when you see the infielder bobble the ball. Get your foot on the bag and stretch like a first baseman to the ball. D.L. Hall executes that perfectly. A roar to fist pump from D.L., a sheepish grin from Ryan. Two down and a ground ball to second. Jordan Westbrook's there. This one's a little more routine. Six outs to get for the Orioles. The O's won, the Sox nothing. At least. Well, it's only one nothing, yeah. I can tell you that. No, I meant... Oh, you meant at least the crew. Yes, the cast of thousands. 
Josh Lester had a cup of yeah. coffee here. Whoa, got him. Takes one for the club. Ryan O'Hearn has done perfect, but the Red Sox pitching has been nearly as good. Sale and Winkowski through six and two thirds, and now the lefty Brennan Bernardino. Chest of awards, which is probably going to see a rookie of the year, maybe a gold glove, but he strikes out looking here. On to the eighth we go, and the Orioles will turn to the rock of their bullpen, Yen Yu Kano, for the 71st time. Yeah, D.L. Hall was outstanding. One and two thirds of perfect baseball. Yen Yu Kano making his 71st appearance of the year. Yeah, the changeup was as good as we've seen it in a while. Down to third gunner Henderson. Bobby Dahlbeck retired. One away in the eighth. All he's done is become an all-star, and he gives up a base hit here as Jordan Westberg couldn't get to that ground ball from Connor Wong, and the Red Sox put the tying run at first with one out. Rafaela goes down swinging. Well, and Kano we strikes the pose. Well, that's the dirt ball. That'll work, right? Yeah, yeah, the dirt ball will work. 98 dive bombing. CNL Perez, who's been just about untouchable the last couple of months, We'll try to do that work. Yeah, CNL making his 64th appearance of the year. And that ERA continues to drop. There goes the runner. McCann's throw is not caught by Mateo. A stolen base for Connor Wong on an 0-2 count. The 1-2. On the ground right side. Could be a tough play. O'Hearn. Perez barehanded. got the bag. Perez barehanded that ball. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Three and one. That's a ball. Yes, indeed it is. There's your leadoff walk in the Oriole lead. That inactivity, basically, uh, you know, it's got a good arm. Yep. Throws 94, 95. It's got a really good changeup. Well, you wonder if McCann's going to put one down here. Ball Verdugo story. McCann on a little hit and run down to third. Devers gets it there. But Frazier does get down to second. An insurance run in scoring position with one out. Left center field off the end of the bat. Rafaela coming in. It's a big hit for Kirstad. It kicks away. Here comes Frazier around third, and he will score. Heston Kirstad in his 10th career big lead game drops in a base hit. It kicks away from the Boston outfield, and the Orioles have a big insurance run. And Hayes jammed in a ground ball down to third. Kerstad will go two third behind the play. He'll take it. Why not grab the extra base with two down? That's outside. Well, listen. It wouldn't be an American League East clincher. Left center field. This could be trouble, but Rafaela and Abreu are there. It's Abreu to get it. The Orioles add one more run. They are three outs away from the American League East title. It will be Tyler Wells, another former Rule 5 pick, to try to send the Orioles to the American League East title and the top seed in the AL postseason. Yeah, T. Wells was good last night. A huge, huge out in a one nothing game. A little check swing ground of the new shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. One down in the ninth. Only Hayes and McCann are at the spots they started the game. 1-2, Verdugo with a ground ball, off the glove of Wells. He picks, he shovels. O'Hearn got his foot on the base. And there is one out to go. The big daddy Tyler Wells bouncing around all six foot eight of him. You tuned in night after night, hoping for a moment like this. The 1-1 one -one to Story is grounded to third. Ramon Arias from third. The Orioles have done it. Crazy Baltimore! You are the new champions of the American League East!